Namaskaram everyone. Today I will show you how to create a conducive meditative atmosphere in your home by creating the Panchagni Kolam. Let's say you want to create a meditation space in your home. You have old people or children in the house or somebody is sick. Just for regular general conduciveness also, you can do this. To do the Panchagni Kolam, we need either rice flour, grains, pulses or red earth. I'll be showing with rice flour and green gram. You can do this kolam on the floor, you can also do it on a board. I'm using these rollable mats. Next, we need five bowls or plates uh, filled with water. It has to be made of any metal, preferably copper. I'm using these plates. We need five lamps with wicks. Any lamp will do. I'm using uh, these uh, mud lamps. To light the lamps, we need ghee or sesame oil. If that's not available, you can also use vegetable oil and also a matchbox to light the lamps. Now, let's see how to create the perfect geometry. First, we'll pick a center and then we'll create the boundaries of the square. Now that we have marked the four endpoints and also the center of the square, uh, this is where we will uh, start uh, making the dot structure using the rice flour to make the triangles. So first I'll mark the dot structure in the center where there will be an upward triangle and a downward triangle intersecting. I'm using a four finger space. So the first line is three dots. Then in between these two dots, we have to place another dot and that it should be equidistance from these two dots as well. So this is again four finger space between this dot and this dot. So in the second row here, I'll have four dots. And in the third row above, we will have one dot between these two dots. Again, it must be equidistance. So it is four finger space I'm using. Similarly, in the bottom, four dots. And then one dot in between. So three dots, four dots above and below, and then one dot at the very end. Now that the dot structure for the center uh, portion of the triangle is done, we will uh, lay the dot structure for the two triangles at the top portion of the square and these two triangles will be facing upwards. So this was the top left corner of the square. So from here, we will lay three dots. So four finger space, just like we used in the center. So three dots and between these two, again, we will keep one dot four finger spaces again and then one dot in between these two dots it should also be four finger space and below this row between these two we will have four dots so this makes the top facing upward facing uh, triangle next this is the uh, top right corner of the square here also we will draw an upward facing triangle in the same way how we did on the other side four finger space between the dots and three dots in the first row two dots on the next uh, and then one dot at the top and this row we will have four dots so one dot between these two four finger space so this way all the triangles will be of the same length. Now this is the bottom left end of the square. Here we have to draw a downward facing triangle. For that again with four finger space between each, the, each of the dots we will uh, have three dots 
in this row and then two dots in the next make sure they are of equal space and then one dot in between these two dots and between uh, behind this row we will have four dots so this way we will create the downward facing triangle this is the bottom right end of the square this is the last triangle uh, that we are going to uh, draw uh, place the dots for to draw uh, similar way four dots in between uh, four finger space in between the dots and this is the dot structure depending on the size of your board you can increase or decrease the distance between the dots so we have uh, finished uh, laying the dot structure next we will draw the lines uh, with the same uh, rice flour uh, to create the triangles yeah. and joining the bottom four dots next i'm joining the top four dots next joining uh, the four dots for the downward facing triangle take the rice flour and smoothly roll it between your two fingers Now we will place the water uh, in between the triangles and then place the lamps. Uh, now i have shown you how to draw the panchagni kolam with rice flour the lamps can be lit any time of the day it is best if the lamps are lit for at least 6 to 8 hours uh, and we can be in the space and meditate you could also burn the lamps for 6 to 8 hours remove the lamps and be in the space uh, we can uh, make the kolam with any uh, grains pulses um, uh, red earth So now I will show you how to uh, do it with the green gram. please do watch the original video from sadguru i will uh, link it in the description and the comments below try this kolam and share your experience namaskaram bye